Yo, what is up, YouTube? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And today, uh, I'm gonna be coming out with you guys a little bit more of an informational video. Uh, it's just gonna be talking about more of, of, of the support rule, about a little bit of a, uh, a meta right now. The meta is gonna be supports buying beads. As you guys have seen in SPL a lot recently, beads have been getting picked up on support. PBM, Jake, Aurora, Ronnie, every support at one point or another has been picking up beads and it's just because of how much value you're getting out of beads as support so right now as a game as a meta smite really relies on being able to punish the enemy like whichever enemy you can whether it's support mid jungle solo adc whichever role you can right now solos are picking up beads or like a, i guess a little bit before right now before this meta so, solos were picking up beads so they were very very hard to punish tanky and they had cc immunity junglers always in the jungle hard to find a jungler if they don't want to be found you can't see me mids they kind of have a lot of people around them they also go beads their tower is very close so it's very easy for them to retreat into tower very hard to punish mages and now the two probably easiest roles to punish are adc and support because of how long that lane is uh in duo most adcs don't have an escape ability that gets them all the way back to tower unless it's like a hachiman ult or something but even in that scenario there's some gods that can punish them i.e fenrir uh wall gods like a ymir or kabraken or something that can wall off his escape so that basically leaves you with two rolls to punish and like i said adc is very easy to punish but if you look at the adc gods and you look at the supports supports are behind in this meta and they're they weren't going beads adcs were going beads aren't behind have decent trade potential and then have an alt that either does like a lot of damage or has a lot of utility so it basically just left the support to be this uh, fodder for the enemy team where it was basically just whoever could kill the support first faster with the least amount of cooldowns was in the best spot in return supports ended up building beads because they wanted to avoid this. If they have beads also, now they're basically as safe as a, a mage or an ADC or a jungler that goes beads. They're also a little bit tankier on top, kind of like a solo laner, but they're just a little bit still farther behind than the solo laner, so it's a little bit different. But they did this to kind of stop being picked on by the enemy. With how the game is right now, mages have so much farm on the map and they get it so fast and they get items so fast and they get they, their spikes so fast that if you were hit by one of these low cooldown or even ultimate abilities that displaced you, like a, a Sobek Pluck, Fenrir Alt, Sirket Alt, uh, Taunt Combo, if you got hit by any of those, you were almost guaranteed dead before the CC duration was over. So we bought beads. It was the only thing we could do because of how Smite is as a game. The games are progressing so fast. Tankiness is kind of uh, not getting the love it's getting and there's just more and more damage getting thrown into the game. And that goes for Guardians and Warriors too. We're, we're, we're doing a lot of damage right now, but tankiness isn't really a thing in Smite. That is why we've ended up been buying these beads because we need to avoid dying. Because Smite is such a fast paced game, Picking these supports gets you these leads fast, gets you objectives fast, gets you the fire giant fast, gets you towers fast. It allows you to just push the game when you have this guaranteed or almost guaranteed kill every fight. Think about a fight with a Fenrir jungle against a Terra that doesn't have beads. 5v5 at the Gold Fury. This Fenrir has one job and one job only. Build full cooldown, pick up this Terra, bring her towards the team so she dies. If you're only using the Fenrir ult and then just base mage ability cooldowns, Scylla, Root Crush, autos from the ADC, you are killing that support without using anything of real value. Fenrir is going to be valuable outside of his ultimate. It's now a 5v4 with just no Fenrir ult or whatever. And usually it's just going to result in a, a full fight right as that's happening. It's not going to be like, oh, they picked up Terra, let's not fight. They'll try to fight it, but still, you're using no actual cooldowns on this Terra, and she's just dead. As soon as she's dead, you can just turn your fight onto the enemies uh, with a 4v4, uh, ults are ready, and then Fenrir is basically just going to be fighting in it too with no ult. You're basically guaranteed a gold fear at that point or whatever. If the team fights it, they're going to lose unless they just get a, a sick, sick play. So now it comes down to when do you buy beads? And it's kind of a game dependent thing. There's not just you buy beads this game. It's, it's very, very God dependent. Who's on the enemy team? Who's on your team? Stuff like that. I would buy beads in a game where if i felt i got hit by this cc i was guaranteed dead so if i'm playing against a fenrir silla combo and i'm playing we'll go back to the terra i have 100 buying beads in that because i am not trying to get picked up and become irrelevant in every single fight the circuit's another one sobek is another one but some gods have counters so terra into sobek is a counter for terra because she's not going to be immune if you get your pillars down which you should be able to do so i wouldn't need to pick beads up in that matchup but say i'm playing ymir into sobek 
Uh, it's a matchup that I might have to build beads in because if I get hit by that pluck, I'm almost guaranteed dead off pluck. We'll kind of go through a couple of the guardians and give you some ideas so you guys know. Ares. Ares has a good amount of counterplay against some of these gods. Fenrir can cripple him. He can alt it too. But he is a god you still need to go beads on against Fenrir, uh, Sir Ket. But I don't think you need beads against so Sobek because you can chain his blink if he ever blinks onto you you just chain him before he gets plucked off and you're fine Ardeo, you're gonna want to be going beads a lot because she is no cc immune alt and her alt is not really anything that helps her get out of a scenario where it's deemed unsafe so a lot of the time Ardeo is going to be going beads uh sometimes if they have low cc you won't need to athena probably one of the few gods that will also need beads but also can get away with a lot of other relics because she's m maybe not always going to be getting gone on because if she can play it right she could say like dash taunt and then immediately alt out so she doesn't have to worry about that cc or if she feels like she's getting walked at or ran at she can just charge her alt and if she gets jumped on she just alts bacchus i think bacchus is probably the best god with beads other than maybe kabracken because it allows their aggression to be unpunished unless they're getting killed both of these gods beads a lot of the time but kabracken also uses blink well so maybe think about it a little bit sir he's a beads god i mean like the thing is is most of these gods are beads gods but like it just depends on some of the lower cooldown ones like so back like Fafnir doesn't really care too much about a Sobek pluck because he jumps so quickly away off of it that he can usually live it. Ymir is going to need beads against Sobek. Yemoja, yes. Terra doesn't because she's not going to be immune. Kuzumbo doesn't need beads that much because he is probably the tankiest god in the game. I think he's probably one of the few gods. I can think maybe, obviously Yorm's not playing in support, but if he was, he wasn't a god that needs beads. But yeah, if you're playing Kuzumbo, 90% of the time, do not need beads on Kuzumbo. You're better off going Blink, Sunder, Onk or whatever that's the video on beads i hope you guys enjoyed it just supposed to be a little bit more of an informational video for you guys because i know a lot of you guys are curious about beads and why they're getting picked up so much why they're so op and i think we're at a point where beads are kind of op when you're picking up 10 in a game and that that just happened i think it was this weekend or last weekend or something against i can't remember who, who it was we played but there was 10 beads in the game off the off the start like that is that, that i don't like seeing that i like build diversity it's a build diversity. Then again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. If you guys got any questions, ask away. Hope you guys learned a little bit here. You guys have a wonderful day.